market, especially the large caps. Uh, so, you know, who's buying these these stocks? That's been a bit of a mystery, but uh, you know, that's the you have to respect the screen, uh, and the screen has been quite good, at least at the index level. Okay, so we have three seconds to go before the markets open. The first trade is in, and the Nifty is absolutely flat. Two points higher, make it seven points now. Okay, 10 points, and the Bank Nifty is down about 100 points. 35,500 is what we have on the Bank Nifty, which is now uh, cutting its losses, uh, down only 64 points. Fourth, fourth day running, the mid caps are starting higher, and uh, that's uh, one good thing about the broader market over the last few days. Uh, Hindalco is your top gainer on the Nifty, that's up about 1%. It's closely followed by UPL. UPL, remember, has had a really bad month. It's down 10% this month. So UPL is seeing some short covering, perhaps. Bajaj Finserv is opening higher. Grassim, Ultratech Cement, Wipro, uh, ITC, Tata Consumer. These are some of the names which are making a move. Britannia, both Britannia and Tata Consumer hitting fresh highs. On the way down, Infosys is down about two-thirds of 1%. Uh, ICICI Bank is a bit soft in trade. Mahindra is a bit soft, Tech Mahindra a bit soft, HDFC, TCA. So IT stocks seeing some profit taking and that's now leading the Nifty in the red, down about four points. Even the Bank Nifty is down about 70 points. So these are some of the names that stand out. But really, the stock that stands out is Hindalco, uh, which is up about 1.6% uh, as far as the large caps go. Uh, Sonia, over to you for mid-caps. Well, the mid-cap opening is good. It's up almost about half a percent or so. So at least outperforming the large caps. The advanced decline ratio is also solid. Uh, sugar stocks continue to move higher. So you have Sri Renuka, which is up almost 5%. Nalco is up almost about 4 odd percent news flow over there. Adani Group stocks are looking good. Adani Transmission, Adani Power, Adani Total Gas, all up about 3 to 5 odd percent. Uh, sale is in the green, up almost about 2 and a half odd percent over there. Alkai, Lamine, Endurance Technology, uh, Jubilant are a couple of other stocks. Hindalco looking pretty good. On the downside, auto stocks. On the back of that insurance news are sulking, so m and is down about 1.5%, Tata Motors, Aisha down almost about half odd percent, that's from the frontliners, but even in the broader markets, some of these auto companies are doing that well. And uh, just a couple of, you know, these odd names, uh, Spicejet, by the way, is up almost about 3 odd percent, it has been gaining ground ever since those positive statements came in from Ajay Singh about cutting down on costs and the 737 MAX getting approvals, so, you know, things are um, on the mend over there. Something like uh, Aurobindo Pharma is bouncing back a bit. Voltas as well is in the green. But the Bank Nifty is just sulking a tad bit, down about 150 points. And a lot of losers from the ICICI Bank, Federal Bank, Bank of Baroda, all in the red right now. Uh, so, so, we would have to say, I mean, largely quiet. But, you know, some trends emerging, banks under a bit of pressure mm -hmm. and mid-caps in the green. Yeah, let's see even how this plays out. Uh, again, the opening is very similar to what we had uh, you know, dealt with yesterday morning where it was the bank nifty that was the culprit. The one stock that's really catching my eye is Nalco and that's thanks to a big upgrade that's come in from Kotak. Kotak's gone from a sell to a buy straight away, citing higher uh, aluminum prices.